Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I actually received a mystery package from Molly Brooks. She is a blind content creator, an amazing one at that. So before I open up the package, I actually have a card here. Congratulations, you've been selected to take part in the Great Gifts Exchange. It's actually a URL, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my phone and see what's going on. Hey y'all, I'm Alta Delaney, the world's most famous gift wrap artist and YouTube's rap representative, Giftlamat, presenter, presenter. That's maybe a bit of a stretch. You have been selected to be a part of YouTube's Great Gift Exchange where you and 11 other creators will participate in a chain of charitable gift giving. You will each be assigned a creator and as a gift, each of you will make a donation to a charity that is important to your recipient. And then you will be whisked away to my magical wrap shop, Magic, where I'll teach you how to gift wrap the creator's donation in a thoughtful way. Now, you're probably curious about what's inside your present. Go open that dang thing. Look at that. That is so cute. Mm. Oh my god. This is a bath bomb in a shape of a purse, which is so freaking cute. Ugh. It's another bath bomb. Since this is, you know, a gift, I'm gonna go ahead and draw back and see what happened next. Okay guys, so I am upstairs in my bathroom. So here goes nothing. Okay. Bubbling off. It's bubbling up. Ooh, there's something in here. Oh, it's a little dog. Look at this little doggy. And there's something in here. I think there's a note in there. Okay. It's just surprise after surprise. Let's see what's in here. Oh, okay. Let me read what it says. Molly Burke has made a charitable donation to St. Jude's. Oh, oh my God. Thank you so much, Molly. I really appreciate it. This just made my day. If you guys know, I actually visited the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital and it was just a life-changing, you know, experience for me. So this means so much to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Boo. I love you. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and go back and check in with the video of Alton. And now, without further ado, <laughs> I took years of modern dance. Let's find out who your lucky gift recipient is. <gasps> what? Oh, come on. Shalom Black, your official gift recipient is the radiant Rosanna Panzino. Oh my God. Yes, I love her. I cannot wait to create something awesome for Rosanna. See you at the wrap shop and enjoy the train ride. Choo choo. Oh my God. Okay. I'm so excited. But first, I think I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, take a bath. See ya. Beautiful. Shalom rode along to play Secret Santa and decorate beautifully a gift for Rosanta. Rosanta. Oh, you get the idea. I'm really excited to work with Shalom Black today. She is such an inspiration for so many people. We all love her slogan, be your own kind of beautiful. I really hope she enjoyed that bath bomb. I mean, I just got out of the bath and you may ask, do you really wear a cowboy hat and a bow tie and a boutonniere in the bathtub? The answer would be a resounding yes. I like to call this bath chic. And today, one of the projects we're going to explore with Shalom is called a batik. It rhymes. Shalom Black. Welcome to the Rap Shop. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, thank you for coming. I know it's quite a journey to get up here to the Rap Shop. Oh, please, I would do anything for this. Well, we really appreciate it. And I love your message of 
Be your own kind of beautiful. Be your own kind of beautiful. Tell me about that. I think it's very important to figure out who you are as a person and express that your own way and find a way to find beauty in yourself. So tell me about your experience with gift wrapping and your history of holidays. Growing up in Nigeria, we didn't do a lot of like gift wrapping, but we definitely did a lot of giving. Okay. So I remember um, as a child, my mom would cook a big pot of rice and stew, you know, very tasty. Yeah. And then we would take that to our neighbors who are not celebrating Christmas. Because I lived in an area where it's like Christians and Muslim, during the Islamic holiday, they would do the same thing, you know, have rice and bring it to the house. Literally, we would have the same kind of food from different family. And during that time, we do not cook at all because we literally get so much food. I love that we, you know, kind of have like different religious belief, but yes. that moment, everybody just like comes together and the kids usually take the food. And our neighbors, yeah. they would give us money oh. as, you know, the that was gift for gift. the Christmas, yes. And we loved it. I feel like with my siblings, we have specific houses that we like to go to. Because you knew you were going to get a little more, exactly. a little extra. Exactly. I'm like, I want to take it to this family. <laughs> um, and note to self, money as a gift, please. good idea. <laughs> So I wish I do know how to wrap gifts. I'm not great at it, but... Girl, guess today. what? Today is your lucky day. Yes, You're about yes, to learn yes. some gift wrapping skills for your recipient, which yeah. is Rosanna Panzino. Yes. Tell me about Rosanna. Yes. So she's a cook, um, a baker, actress, and a singer. Oh, by the way, an author. Busy, this can one. You, she's very busy. That? Yes. And because she's so passionate about food, yep. I thought maybe donating to Feeding America. She'll I'm super excited about this. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun yeah. over at the wrap bench. Uh, I'm excited to see you wrap with those nails. Right. So we're gonna have some fun with that. <laughs> let's move it, let's shake it, let's wrap it up. Let's go. I'm excited. <laughs> Shalom. Here we are at the wrap bench. Are you ready to put your money where your mouth is? I'm so excited. Actually I'm do a little, little gift nervous. wrapping. There's yeah. actually nothing to be nervous about. We're only gonna so. have fun here. So you know how we're talking about sometimes money is the gift? So yeah. I just want to show that money can also be the gift wrap. Yeah. I've created here for us today these money gift wrap sheets. We like to make it yes. rain here at the Great Gift Exchange. And here's your payment for coming out today. Oh, we appreciate you, you so, so much. I'm gonna make a real call. Yeah, because... Money talks. It does. Yes. <laughs> Gifting money is actually a very old tradition. And in fact, it's tied to the origins of gift wrapping in general. In fact, the first documented use of gift wrap was in China, which is where paper was invented, by the way, in the second century BC. People would give gifts of money wrapped in red paper, which was basically the precursor to the gift card. So I've got you this cute jewelry box here. Yay. I have one too. And these are actually gonna be going to children in need. So no pressure. Okay. So we're working from the back of the sheet. Okay. And now we do the same thing with our jewelry box. We turn it upside down because you always wrap from the bottom side up. And now you're gonna crease the edges there. Guys, I'm struggling. You're doing fine. You know, sometimes what I do is I fold it over like this and I use the table, especially when I have my long nails on. The crazy thing, this is not my longest nail. These are like the everyday look. Exactly. Then we're gonna fold over first one side and then the other and create this perfect little triangle. Oh gosh. You're doing good. Ah, you're doing great, honey. Voila! Are you supposed to have a little bubble air? Typically not, but that's <laughs> fine. Now it's time for the bow on the presents. So from your big stack there, take a bill and you're gonna fold it in half and just twist it around into a little loop. Wow, how do, what? It's almost a magic trick. Almost, twist it under. So this one. There way. you go. And now that is one loop of your bow. And now she's gonna have to create eight of these. Okay. Eight bow loops later. Easy peasy. So now we're gonna take the eight, and what we're gonna do is you're gonna assemble them one across from the other like this. So in the end, you get like an eight point kind of star. Oh, mine looks so fast. So we're gonna take one more bill, and we're gonna fold it in thirds on itself, and then we're gonna curl this up, and then you have this really elegant and cute $900 bow. Yay. With money left over. Well, Shalom, you can see we've gone from gift wrapping mode to full-on arts and crafts mode right. here. 
What we're gonna do today is some block printing using an African printing process. So this is very similar to the, the Indonesian technique of using the hot wax, which is called batik. Mm -hmm. so this is actually called an African wax print. A lot of, you know, the Nigerian women wear it. My mom, right. she loves it. And usually for the kids, we get um, African fabric clothing made during Christmas. And so what we're gonna be doing is bringing in some of those cultural references and creating our own custom printed paper and silk scarf. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to ink it up. Okay. You roll it on there with your little roller. Okay. And do just a firm press down. Excellent. And don't be afraid that it's a little imperfect because sometimes those little imperfections is what makes it so cool. Right. And it really shows like, oh, this is not something she bought at the right. store. It's a Shalom Black original. That's it. Creating a custom printed gift wrap paper, or in this case, fabric, is not only a great way to come up with a unique design, this is also an awesome way to create a customized gift wrap exclusively from you to your recipient. It's another way to be your own kind of beautiful. I see you, Shalom. We're gonna use now our second colors and you're gonna put diamond shapes in between those circles and we're gonna okay. kind of create this pattern. And what I'm gonna use is also hot pink. Pink today is clearly a theme. Sure is. Hot did pink you see and my red. Eyeshadow? I did. How could I miss it? <laughs> so Shalom, I want you to tell me what you think that looks like. I think it looks like a cookie. Exactly. Is it a cookie? It's a little like contemporary abstracted cookie. Yeah. Oh, wow. And what about mine? What are you starting to see over here? Is that? Think of Rosanna. Thing? Think of her baking in the kitchen. Think it's your birthday. Oh, it looks like a cake. It's a little slice of cake. It does look like a cake. So you have a couple of these bamboo okay. candles over there. These are not oversized bangles. These are actually, I mean, they could make some nice big earrings too. They could make too. some nice bag handles too. That's what Versus. we're gonna do with them. We're gonna make a handbag out of this. Oh, so I'm okay. gonna show you on this scarf, but you're actually gonna be using that handmade scarf. Okay. So what you do is you take two corners and fold them kind of in. We're gonna take our bag handle. Okay. We're gonna put it under those two points. And then you pull the little corners under. Okay. And then you tie that in the middle in just a little knot. So now you're gonna spin that around and do the same thing. You're gonna kind of pull those two points in. Yep. Oh, and then you wow. pull your two handles together. Cute, right? I'm so obsessed. Like, I actually want to keep it for myself. Sorry, Rosanna. I know. <laughs> so now we're going to prepare the donation, okay. which is actually the gift that we're going to put inside the gift bag. And that's where my custom paper comes in that we printed oh. earlier. I'm going to create an envelope that's going to hold the card. Okay. Now, my friend, if you will hand me the card. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Happy holidays, Rosanna. And then one last thing we thought we would add a little fun to this. We're surprise. gonna put one of these wind up surprise butterflies in here. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Mine fluttered a little. How was yours? <laughs> now let's see, this is how it's actually supposed to work, right? Like you open it. Oh, it's so nice. All right, so we've got the butterfly in there. We've got the donation. And now you can stick this in the bag. Anything else you want to throw in there? So some of the gift-given tradition in Nigeria is actually given chocolate, mm. some nuts, and some dry fruits. Oh, nice. Um, I thought this is, you know, a great way to also kind of show my culture. And there you go. So we created this gift bag for Rosanna. Yeah. And it's the whole thing is a custom-made scarf custom that she can actually reuse. Yeah. It's awesome. And that would be for me. Thank you so much for being a guest today on the Great Gift Exchange. Thank you so much for having me. And make sure you tune in to Rosanna's channel to check out the new episode of the Great Gifts Exchange. Thank you so much for watching and remember to always be your own kind of beautiful. And as I always say, that is a wrap. Ho, 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 ho. And so off to Rosanna without further delay went this season's purse on a steam-powered sleigh. Ooh, what do we have inside? <gasps> oh, the holiday cheer doesn't need to end here. Start your own gift-giving chain and be sure to use hashtag YouTube's Great Gift Exchange so we can all follow along.